Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Nourish My Soul. My name is Jeff. I am the lead servant for Los Angeles First Filipino Church of the Nazarene, or LA Phil Naz. Join our church every Sunday, 9 a.m. at Wiley Chapel or online. Here's our fellowship schedule. Nourish My Soul every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Walk Through the Bible, virtual midweek. Friday, 8 to 9 p.m., Bible study and prayer party. Sunday, 9 a.m. in person at Wiley Chapel and virtual worship live, Facebook and YouTube. Let's start with the reading of the word. January 21, today is Thursday. Proverbs 15, verse 1. A gentle answer turns away your anger, but the harsh word steers up wrath. The topic for today, for our devotion, is about calm the roaring lion of anger. Hmm. I'm sure there are a lot of people who can relate to this. I was a few cars back at a stoplight recently and the light turned green, but nobody moved. I patiently waited for 1.7 seconds probably, then I laid on my horn. You see here in the States, you just don't <laughs> use your horn. If someone uses his or her, her horn, probably that person is irritated. I was kind of irritated. I would admit it. Why are we not moving? Why are we not moving? The guy in front of me offered a conciliatory gesture with his middle finger. I kept honking. Then I saw it. An older gentleman was rolling across the intersection as fast as he could in a wheelchair. I felt foolish. Honestly, I felt foolish. I didn't have all the facts. I just reacted. I felt a threat to my sense of control over the situation. Laying on that horn made me feel like I was doing something back in control, but I regretted it in the end. I've learned the hard way that it's best to approach situations that are making us angry like a paranoid cat. Cautiously tiptoeing with, with eyes wide open. Hmm. Assume there is something happening behind the scenes that you don't realize. Yep. You can turn into a lion later if needed, but if you go in roaring like a lion without all the facts, you could end up looking really foolish or can make the situation even worse by creating anger and hurt in those around you. King Solomon says, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word steers up anger. You see, anger tends to steer up more anger. And in fact, if you add letter D to the word anger, it will become danger, right? You see, but responding in the opposite spirit, with gentleness and calmness brings peace. It can be hard to say or it can be hard to stay calm when we get angry. But if we want to bring peace, we have to choose our words carefully when we get angry. But to choose your words, you have to step away. Slow down. And calm down. When you feel yourself getting angry today, <laughs> rather than reacting, start by asking, what 
am I not understanding about this situation? You'll probably find there are some details you didn't know. If things really are what you thought, you'll be able to approach it with a gentle and controlled response, which means you'll have a much better chance of resolving the situation in a healthy way. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, for reminding us that anger is danger. It is not seen to get angry, but, you know, may we not seen when we are angry. In Psalm 4.4, it says that in our anger, do not sin. Thank you, Lord God, for being the calming spirit in our hearts. I pray for the people who are listening and watching, Lord, that uh, you calm their spirit. Give them peace. Reveal yourself to them. Lord, we ask that you totally eradicate COVID-19. This pandemic, Lord God, that is happening to the entire world. May the vaccines be effective. May we, may we be out of this wilderness, Lord God, as soon as possible. We also remember, Lord God, uh, to pray for complete healing for the following people. Pray for healing for Len Bermudo, Jovi Bermudo, Jovi Simon, JV, a friend of me. We speak of healing. We, 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 we declare healing by the blood of the Lamb. Now we want to also give an opportunity for everyone to accept you as our Lord and Savior. If you are here watching us and listening to us, pray with us and accept Jesus now. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask for your forgiveness. I am a sinner, but I believe that you died upon the cross for me, that you shed your precious blood for the forgiveness of my sins. I accept you now. As my Savior, my Lord, my God, my friend, come into my heart and set me free from my sins. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Happy, happy Thursday. Allow me to bless you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord, the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen, and amen, and amen. God bless you. Happy Thursday. See you tomorrow. Bye.